Yes, welcome to this PS and 30 Photoshop tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today, well, we're going through all the features and tools in Photoshop, but for today, we're going to look at the Magic Eraser tool, which you can find underneath the regular eraser tool in Photoshop. The Magic Eraser tool is kind of like the background eraser tool. It's a lot faster, but not quite as good, doesn't give you as much power, um, but it still can be a useful tool when you have big bits and chunks of color like this that you want to get rid of quickly. Um, we got some options up here in the control bar, opacity. I don't really mess with opacity. You can sample all layers. We don't need to do that. We only have one layer that we're erasing from. We can tick contiguous on, which means it's only going to erase pixels that are connected to each other. So let's say some of this blue colors in the windows down here, right? You can see that it's not going to get rid of it from the windows, but let's say you're erasing a background that's got a lot of trees flowing out into it. Maybe you'd want to make it not contiguous or discontiguous. Um, you got anti-alias options. I like to keep that checked on. It's a little smoother on the edges. And tolerance. The higher your tolerance is, the, the more liberal this is going to be with erasing pixels. So if I select here and just get rid of that, you can see it gets rid of very similar blues. I'm going to undo that. Let's increase the tolerance to maybe like 80. Let's click in like the same area. You can see it gets rid of a much bigger chunk of blue. Let's select over here. And you can see because I have contiguous selected, it only gets rid of up in that corner. Let's undo that. Let's deselect contiguous and say, you know what? Get rid of this blue everywhere in the image. And it gets rid of all of that. It also knocks out some stuff here in our windows. Um, I don't really mind that, though. Let's just drag a background into this and see what kind of job uh, this tool has done for us. You see it's done a pretty nice job. It just a few clicks. It isolates the flat iron building and we can throw something in. Now the background obviously is not at the correct perspective at all, but this is just the example. We also have an option here. Again, the background is gray. Now the problem with this image is the gray kind of starts to mesh or meld into her hair a little bit. So if we use the background erase tool, tolerance set to about, you know, I don't know, let's go 60. Discontiguous, I've don't, I, I have it not set to contiguous, and I go and erase the gray. It's going to get rid of the gray, but you can see it gets rid of a lot of the girl as well. What does that mean? Well, let's try reducing our tolerance down to about 20. Do that. Oh, a lot of the girl stays. It's done a really nice job getting rid of some of the hair, but still way too much. Let's bring the tolerance down to like 10. Much, much closer. We're still missing like the entire whites of her eyes, for instance, things like that. Let's undo that. Let's bring tolerance completely down. All right, now you can see it gets rid of almost nothing. So let's try a tolerance of about three. All right, that's pretty close, but not quite. Maybe a tolerance of five, All right? So there's a lot of like pushing, pushing and pulling. Maybe try doing a couple, get rid of a couple bits of gray. But then you see you still get rid of a lot of her hair. So here's something that you can try. You can take the lasso tool, make a quick rough selection around her hair like this, right? Boom, 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 boom. Great. There we go, we've selected very roughly around her hair. We would invert this selection, Command Shift or Control Shift I, so we're selecting everything pretty much except the girl. We can go back to the Magic Eraser tool, try doing that again, you can see it protects all the stuff within, or I'm sorry, the stuff that's not in the selection, but we're also missing out on a lot of these big bits of gray here that we're seeing in her hair. If we deselect, it's just a very sharp, straight-edged line. So let's undo that. We don't want to do that. Maybe if we do something like select refine edge first, and we use this uh, refine radius paintbrush tool, and we paint over the edges of her hair, we can maybe get a little bit of a better selection with which to use the magic eraser tool. You can see that actually doesn't look too bad. All right. So we can select that stuff. We can hit OK. Now we're, in theory, just selecting bits outside of her body and her hair. Use the Magic Eraser tool again. All right, a couple clicks. And Command or Control D to deselect. That looks a lot better. We're still, we still have a lot of gray that's in there that's maybe not perfect. But again, if we drag that same background in and place it underneath this, of course, I should mention, if you're, you can see the, ma the Magic Eraser tool, it's not a horrific job, but it's, still kind of pretty bad. Not really all that that usable. Um, so with more complex hair selections like this, it's going to be tough. It all depends on your background color and the color of the subject over the background. So with her, she's just a little bit too close to the color of the background for it really to work super duper effectively. Um, but what I was going to say was, if you're already creating a very complex selection like this with the refine edge uh, command, right, select refine edge, you might be better off just holding down your alt or option key and throwing a mask on that layer, which is going to hide all that stuff anyway. And you can go in with the brush tool and work on bringing these edges back uh, a little bit and, you know, or, or further working with the refine mask uh, option or 
well, refine edge option is what it's going to be uh, when you actually have a selection created to get really the selection that you need. So the, I think the conclusion with this tool is when you have big, straight edges, easy, easily definable edges over a solid colored background, the Magic Eraser tool actually does a pretty good job. Um, really nice job here with the flat iron building. When we get to the more complex stuff like the hair selections, eh, not quite as good. But that's it for the Magic Eraser tool in Photoshop. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.